Okay, next up, more mods. <laughs> Out of necessity. See this bike rack? Well, it works great for going in the receiver of the Ford F-250 for camping for hauling two recumbent bikes. Well, what are recumbent bikes? Yeah, I know, there's a lot of bikes in the bike stables. Shut up! They're stupider hobbies to have. Anyway, I love these long wheelbase, rec wheelbase recumbents. Super comfortable. They're also not very conducive to going on a regular bike rack. If you have the kind where they sit on the tubes, the weight of the bike is different, so it teeters around and you need to have a strap under the seat. It doesn't work. So, <clears throat> foreshadowing, there's some bed rails. Out of necessity, I cannot find a beefy enough bicycle rack. They list the weight for e-bike racks, etc. And just, I'm just, I just don't trust them. I'm tired of worrying about this little fella busting just from the two bikes we have on there. It hasn't shown any signs of wear, but I just don't trust it. By the thickness of that metal, which you can't see, but there it is. It's probably eighth inch. I don't trust that. So I'm going to pro modify one of these here, Harbor Freight racks. And uh, this one has 750 pound capacity if you have a class four hitch. I can't remember what I put on the front, but I think it's a class three bolt on hitch. This is gonna be on the front. Well, I say bumper, it's not attached to the bumper. It's attached to the frame underneath, but the receiver is on the front of the truck. So I gotta figure out how far out this one's stuck from the pin to where the hold downs are for the bike. And long story short, I'm gonna assemble this rack, put two bed rails on here with the V facing up. That way, no matter what length bike you put on here, the wheels will go in those Vs. And I'll cannibalize this pole with the ratcheting clamps that hold it down. You just slide them down from the top and they grab on the frame top tube and pin it down vertically. That's it. And this thing, the instructions over here say for a class three hitch, 475 pound capacity. So then I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm not gonna worry about, uh, well, it's not quite quarter inch, but I can tell by the weight of this thing, I'm not gonna have to worry about this caving in and running over both bicycles with the truck and probably damaging the truck and the whole nightmare that goes through my mind. So that's the next project. I'm gonna get to assembly. So this is the latest. I just stripped all the e-bike components off of whoo, this one. Yeah, I know, I'm into bicycles, leave me alone. This one worked great. I had a trailer on it, did all kinds of nonsense. Uh, as an e-bike, but it's converted back to just a regular old bike, but I left the shelf on it where I put the battery Anyhow, this could also go on That other rack I'm making now with a few little Add-ons if I ever wanted to haul that which I probably won't as far as I know this one's gonna get sold I think I'm done playing with it <clears throat> Needs to finance the other operation but this one Will go on there and that pole will be able to accommodate that frame Somehow. And the other e-bike, see, it says long wheel lace recumbents. That's the other e-bike. So they're kind of goofy sized and shaped bikes, which is why I'm having to do all this. They're heavy with those hub motors on there. These bikes are probably 50, 60 pounds each. And with, with the battery and everything. They're 20 amp hour, 48 volt batteries on them. And uh, I don't want to worry about it. So let's get cracking. I'm going to assemble this thing just uh, as the instructions say first and then start measuring and modifying.
here she is. <sighs> so, what do we know? Um, I already know I'm gonna have to modify this somehow. The drawbar insert, because I don't want this thing having any wobble. So I'm going to have to put a nut in here and reach in here and weld it so that uh, when you put the bolt in this way, instead of a pin, you pull everything tight whoop, against the square receiver and then this doesn't have any wiggle this way. This is already annoying. Since this is in front of the radiator, right in front of the truck, I'm never going to rotate it up so I need to make sure I get I want to get the slop out of this too it has a little in there more than I want I don't know if it may be acceptable but if not I'm gonna put at least two bolts in and if that doesn't satisfy me I'll just weld it on there it doesn't need to have this thing whoop, hinge up ever so what else is critical okay the old one if you remember from seeing had a jog. Hoo -hoo. I already measured. It's a three and a half inch rise. I think it was way plenty high enough, but that won't matter. But the distance from this pinhole to where the first bike wheel it goes is important because if it's too close, well, your bike's going to be rubbing the front of your truck. Ask me how I know that. So we're not going to do that this time. So I need to do those things measure this distance on the old one to make sure the bikes when they're put on here aren't gonna rub and I need to figure out if I can lose the three and a half inch situation I also don't think that will matter um, but I'm not positive I gotta check gotta see gotta see gotta see last but not least we have to mount that pole with the ratcheting vertical hold downs on there I say that's last it's not last that's third the last last thing I guess or not in that order whatever there's four things those bed rails need to get put across here and welded down to the ends and I'm guessing the middle would make sense uh, I think so that any wheelbase bike that I own anyway and trust me there's nothing longer than the long wheelbase recumbent extra large frame one that I have it's ridiculous but it's also very comfortable, it's awesome fun, so that's it. Let's get to cracking. Let me do some measuring. Okay, good news. The old one's like 12 inches from pin and the receiver to where the first wheel starts. This one's by the time you get the bed rail in there, the V probably 14 inches or 15, which is good. Get another inch of space and sticking out there on the lever these bikes won't matter because of the weight capacity of this rack that'll give me an extra at least inch maybe two clearance between the bikes well the first bike and the front of the grill good the other thing is i don't think it matters for height just looking at the geometry of this by the time you put the bed rail up there the distance from this to the ground doesn't matter in the sense I already know that's high enough off, off the ground. Uh, you'd be dragging the rest of the truck on the ground first before this would hit. So the only thing that matters is, well actually it doesn't matter. It used to matter because the handlebars stuck out and they would touch the hood of the truck. But I know now that there's wider parts of these bikes that would hit the grill. So if you're not hitting the grill already and we gained an extra inch or two uh, horizontally away from the grill then that's not of concern either so I think I can just simply proceed and get those bed rails slapped on here I think what I'm gonna do is cut a V on both ends carefully measure it and cut them and lay the rails right across in those V's um, because I think I think this is five feet long, and that ain't long enough for these uh, wheelbase bikes, the longest ones anyway. 
So you have to cut a notch. You, you couldn't just put the V in between the ends. You, you have to do it that way. So let me get him in here and see. I need to hook eyeballs on him. Okay, bed reel's murdered. I've convinced myself all I need to use was the short pieces. So I'm gonna cut the rest of these rivets off and then mark and weld. Okay, we got our stock pieces from the bed frames. And after measuring again carefully from center hole to the first uh, wheel position, I came up with approximately this here. The center of this is, I think, 13 and a half. And I measured again on the original rack was 12 and a half. So I know the bikes will clear the dash. Then, who cares, what else? If I cannibalize the center post off of this, right? Because it's got the ratcheting gizmos. I couldn't find a website that just sells for cheap the ratcheting gizmos. And another rack's like, whatever, 80 to $150. I'm not doing that. This rack is useless. So it's gonna get cannibalized. I think what I'm gonna do is weld a stub that will slip inside that stub square tubing and I'm gonna weld it on this piece after I weld that to the piece underneath it so then there'd just be a square stub sticking up that way you could fold this up because while you're camping sometimes you walk around the front corner of the truck you get stabbed by the corner you clang your shin on the corner of this which is now gonna have metal thing sticking out about that far so that might be nice to hinge up and out of the way to keep you from tripping on it while you're camping so or you know what if you want to store haul something else on this rack right because these V's put you down in here low uh, you certainly could put something on there and strap it down if you wanted to instead of bikes so you know nice to have versatility what else that stub has to get welded out, measured on the old rack, which is important because that stock will have both of the hook tubes for hold downs, both directions. So the spacing between this rail and the next is important. It's nine and a half inches on the old rack. So I marked that too. Now what I'm gonna do is cut this metal down, V it out so that this can stick out 10 inches past the end and get welded in there. You know like that but sticking out here the next one will be over here the post will be in the center of the two and 
if I stick this out 10 inches this way, the total length is 80 inches. That's the same width as the F-250. And amazingly, it is, I think I already showed you and measured, but that's what it's gonna take to get both those wheels for that bike on a rail. Uh, and I'm fine with that. So that should fit that bike and anything shorter that I ever wanna put on there. And as long as it's got a top tube, the ratchet hook down clamp will slide down and snag the center post and that should hold it on there. That's the plan. Let me get to cutting and fitting. I lucked out and found a piece of steel. <laughs> it slips exactly in that uh, tube with the ratcheting stuff on it so I can put my hooks on it. This is heavy gauge stuff. I think this is from a dead weight bench. It's good to be a hoarder. It's always got scraps. get the weld started at each spot. kitties I like it that's a big old bike a couple of self sticky you know velcro loops around both wheels they should be good the only thing I got to worry about is since this is sloped will the bike have a tendency to creep that way I might have to make sure the straps are good enough to ensure that wouldn't happen at least far enough for that to run off the end of the rail but that's it. If you don't know how these bike racks work, you just press the old button. Oops, that comes off. And then you're ready to remove the bike. If you don't want to lift it up, I made it so you just pull that pin off the piece I welded. Pull the center stock off here. And then, uh, well, then you don't have to lift the bike very high. But I think it's going to work. I went and looked, it said nine inch clearance is what you should have on cargo racks. I'm not gonna use that whole whoopity schnutz raise it up thing uh, on the truck itself. I measured and the bottom of the receiver is 15 inches up already. So this should be a very good height, less than this, but not much. <clears throat> that ought to get it done. So next I'll show you the thing on the truck. A little tricky trick, if you got any receiver and draw bar, that you don't want slopping around. All right. Get a lock nut. Get a regular nut. This is going to seem goofy. This is the way this one goes, right? Can you see in there? Just weld the nut down. 
Now, when you thread this through the receiver and into here, keep going until it bottoms out. Now, when you put this on outside the receiver, you just hold this one still and only tighten that, it'll tighten this against the receiver, against this, so it pinches whoop, all this together because the nut's on this side. No more slop. It will be solid. It looks strange because this is sticking out and you think, wow, that's not tight. Yes, it is tight once you get this nut done. But anywho, that's how we're going to make this one not sloppy. There it is in this final hauling configuration. Get the idea. Doesn't stick out too wide. It's held up. That square post almost hits my LED light bar, but it doesn't. It clears it by... Oh, you can't see it, but you can trust me. Where is it? It clears it by about a quarter inch. I can't show you, but... Anyway, that's what it looks like all folded up. You just pull the one pin down there, folds down, you're ready to go. I thought about making the post that sticks on here on board and I thought eh what for throw that in the bed or underneath the seats in the back or anywhere but it doesn't need to be up here when it's in folded up formation so that's what it looks like folded up all right hey hey made it to the end this is in uh, true hauling formation here all right everything's super solid wheels are all strapped down it's about even with the you know sides of the truck certainly the mirrors stick out farther but uh is it worth it yeah these long wheelbase recumbents are the cat's hiney because uh you can ride on them all day no sore butt no sore wrists they weigh a little more than regular bike but i don't care i'm riding for exercise a few extra pounds it's just more work you're doing pushing around love them anyway uh that's it it's easy to convert. Let me show you how far it sticks out from the truck. No worry about anything rubbing. All right. So, what are we into it for? The whole project. If you buy the Walmart, I think it was Walmart's rack. I don't know what brand it was, but I think it was about 80 bucks. Uh, you had to cannibalize that because I couldn't find this ratcheting post and these. I forget what they call them even. Mm, something hooks ratchet hooks anyways uh and then the hallmaster harbor freight uh 750 pound capacity rack uh was i think 160 so less than 250 dollars and to get something that was this heavy duty was about 700 bucks so i'm gonna call that a win and more than that it's dual purpose if i take the bikes off pull the post off I could stick a piece of plywood on there if I wanted to. You don't even have to, but you could haul things on it. I wouldn't do it in front of the radiator, but you could stick it on the back hitch and still use it as your cargo rack. So anyway, the instruction said 750, but really with class three hitch, which is what this is, the bolts on the frame underneath, uh, 475 pounds is what the instructions say. So way overkill for bicycles and e-bikes. And that's exactly what I wanted. So, hey, I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video. Press the like button. If you like to comment or have suggestions, go ahead and throw those in there and consider subscribing. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.